Nigeria doesn't need any help from Saudi Arabia. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> it is true. We understand that, uh, you know, Tinubu was in Saudi Arabia trying to negotiate business with them and uh, have the meeting with the Arab League, the Organization of Islamic uh, Countries, OIC, and the Islamic uh, Banking uh, President. The president of Islamic Bank. So all of this is to align to see how they can, you know, have an economic tie with uh, Saudi Arabia. Now someone is coming out to say we don't need help from Saudi Arabia. And I remember in the press of that meeting, we've seen how the EU is trying to muzzle Nigeria into signing the LGBTQ uh, agreement. At the same time, the the Arab League also trying to drag Nigeria into the team that will go and uh, settle the peace in, uh, in uh, or rather settle the war between Israel and Gaza in Palestine, between the Israelis armies and the uh, and the Palestine and the, what, the Hamas. So with all of this happening, someone has come out to say we don't need help from Saudi Arabia. Let's dive into the detail. The administration of former President Muhammad Ubari destroyed Nigeria economically and socially because the powerful manipulators were in control. Uh, so who were these manipulators? His ministers were going in different directions and the Nigerian government did not gain any speed. His administration dragged us back in Nigeria. I helped his administration by writing letters of advice and press releases. I made his government hit the ground running and all our refineries started working within one week, okay, within one week in office as the president in 2015. See National Mirror of June 5, 2015. The NNPC top authority became afraid of President Mama Dubari because he punctured their system and they were surprised how President Buhari was able to handle the refineries making fuel to be available all over the country. They were in panic. So again, see, Anxiety at NNPC ahead of Buhari's massive uh, shakeup, the nation June 18, 2015, from, uh, from front page. So President Buhari started well, but the powerful people snatched the government from him, mainly by securing the control of NNPC and keeping all our refineries redundant. The refineries have been redundant before that 2015, frankly speaking. They wanted our refineries to remain redundant perpetually. They wanted to prevent local production of fuel and make Nigeria depend on imported fuel. They wanted to destroy the value of Naira so that they would remain billionaires due to serious Naira uh, development or devaluation. Hmm. They succeeded in destroying our economy seriously. From the tenors of former President Olusegun Gunabasanjo to the end of the tenor of former President Goodluck Jonathan, our one dollar was not up to 200 naira in exchange. I, Mufutao Adebowale, wanted to help President Buhari and I sent information on how to handle the NNPC well to the Emir of uh, Daura and told him to give it to the president. President elect General Buhari retired. I sent it on April 21, 2015. President Buhari applied my recommendations. And after four working days, as the president, uh, there was fuel everywhere. All over our refineries started. All our refineries started the production. So after about fourteen working days as Nigerian president, the NNPC dangerous stronghold became uh, dislocated, and serious anxiety developed the powerhouse of uh, NNPC. Okay, now wow, Nigeria does not need any help from Saudi Arabia. Nigeria has more potential than Saudi Arabia. So as their structure became disjointed, Nigeria was on the way to prosper, to proper economic recovery. These powerful people eventually overpowered the government and there was no shakeup again at the NNPC as planned by Buhari. So from there on, Nigeria started to march backward. Before Buhari took over, the dollar was not up to 200 naira. But by the time he was leaving in May 2023, one dollar exchange 
for about 900 naira. This made prices of goods to skyrocket as the cost of living became too high. One important thing Nigerians should understand is as long as we keep on importing fear, the Naira will not appreciate. Fake products will continue to dominate the Nigerian market. Brain drain will continue. Our refineries are all perfect. For more than 20 years, the powerful people handling the NNPC have been keeping the refineries redundant so that we can continue to import fuel and be paying for subsidy monies. I have been giving advice to successive presidents on fuel matters for the past 23 years. For four times, I have made our refineries work by way of adv advising our president. Our refineries are not bad at all. Our local engineers at NPC are very capable. Nigeria does not need any help from Saudi Arabia. Nigeria does not need any help from Saudi Arabia. Our economic woes are self-inflicted. Those behind our miserable conditions are still the ones prescribing solutions. They bamboozle, they bamboozle the unsuspecting president. They advise the president in deception. Those who worked with Desiani Ali Simadeke, former petroleum minister, are still making inputs into the administration of the president, present government. Nigeria has stronger potential than Saudi Arabia. Our refineries are very good and our local engineers at NNPC are perfect at handling the refineries. Our situation is not hopeless at all. Hmm. So my advice for President Tinubu is this. I sent important letters to President Tinubu on five different occasions. The letters were about the NNPC and about how to make a... about how to... Uh, make ministers sign performance bond to evaluate their effectiveness quarterly and yearly. Without performance appraisal to monitor ministers, the government will remain uh, in short. There will be no yardstick to measure their effectiveness or lack of it. I advised President Buhari about performance appraisal, but he ignored it. President Buhari's administration was almost a disaster. Some of his ministers were in office as a kind of junior president. They faced their personal political ambitions using their offices as a launch pad. I wanted a departure from such and I sent letters to President Tinubu through his special advisor on media and publicity, Chief Ajuri Ngelali. His aide de camp, Lieutenant Colonel Nuruddin Arowonle, okay, Arowonle Yusuf, his wife, Senator Luremi Tinubu, and the Vice President Senator Kashim Shetima and the State Chief of Protocols Ambassador Victor Adeleke. So for details, see www.tinubufuelsubsidy.com. Can you imagine? As of today, no acknowledgement to any of my letters has been sent to me. One of the problems of our country is misguided advice to the government by those who will eventually benefit from the outcome. The administration is busy with new project activities it is trying to make a difference with serious expenditure on developmental um, activities. President Tinubu government is running, running fast, but on the wrong road, facing the wrong direction. Nigeria does not need any help from Saudi Arabia. Nigeria has more potential than Saudi Arabia. Professor Adebowale is the President Certified Institute of Purchasing and Supply Administrators of Nigeria. Hmm. Oh, wow. So this uh, Adebowale Mufutao is a prof and he is the person writing all of these things. I'm sure this guy needs attention by Tinubu's government. That is one part. Second part, if what is writing is genuine, then Nigeria is obviously not in the path to correct the mistakes of old. It means that where we are is intentional. It's an intentional act by the uh, by the leaders of the country to make sure that they hold the country captive and then continue to, uh, you know, develop themselves. So that's exactly what Mufutao is trying to write. I just hope uh, uh, it is true. But again, we're going to go through into uh, some comments. Let's take a few comments quickly. Um, Thomas said, Tifnubu is the head of the cabal destroying Nigeria since the first day of APC government. 
Someone say, where are the professionals Tinubu promised to bring? We never see them yet. Someone say, you insulted and abused Gwari. He is a Fulani. He is a Hesman. He no go school. Now you have a Yoruba professor with Chicago State University. Shame on you. Can you imagine? <laughs> Gwari bashed and vandalized our economy. That is true. What my pastor tell me is really going like that. That the president of Nigeria we try to turn Nigeria to Muslim, but the grace of God, um, but by the grace of God, nothing will happen. Hmm. Neither does Nigeria need any advice from a destroyer like you. Everything about you is is uh, disgusting. Can you imagine? How do you expect a Nigerian Republican man to save Nigeria? Today, another insufficient man is on the saddle. Thieves everywhere. That's exactly what we have in Nigeria. While Professor Mufutao Abebowale has spoken, let's hope that Nigeria will heed and then ask the right questions, uh, you know, at the right time.